Hi everybody, Bob Gager from Adobe here with another installment of Ask Bob, where I get to answer questions posed by our Photoshop Elements fans. Today's question comes in through our Facebook page. Charlene would like to know how to get some help using overlays. Uh, overlays are a really cool feature of uh, Photoshop Elements and just uh, photo design and photo work in particular um, to really embellish your photo and make it look much more interesting. So I'm going to dig into a little bit on how to do overlays. Let me switch over to the Photoshop Elements editor. Now I'm using a Macintosh computer, but all of the techniques I'm going to show you today work exactly the same on Windows as they do on the Mac. All you need is Photoshop Elements. All right, so uh, here's a picture that I took uh, this last December uh, of my wife and my granddaughter. Um, we were out uh, looking at some Christmas lights and uh, I want to embellish this photo to make it look a little bit more interesting. Now I can use overlays to do that. There's actually um, lots of overlays if you go to uh, Google or Bing or whatever your favorite search engine of the internet is and just search for Photoshop Elements overlays, you're going to get all kinds of options. Now I did that. I'm not going to do it again. Let me just switch over here because I found a number of different overlays. I'm going to show you a couple of them. Um, one of them that was kind of interesting is this one uh, called a snow overlay. Uh, let me go ahead and open that up. Uh, this is from the Florabella collection. Uh, they sell lots of different overlays here. They're currently giving away some free overlays that help you uh, make it look like it's snowing, which is kind of cool. Uh, so this is their webpage, florabellacollection.com. I have no affiliation with them. I just found them from a uh, Google search. Uh, so you just give them your email address and then you can download their free uh, snow overlays. So let me hide that because in here I have their snow overlays. Uh, let me go ahead and open up that. And what these are is simply just uh, a bunch of JPEG files, uh, in this case with different amounts of snow. I'm going to make it a little smaller so we can see them all at one time, uh, maybe arranged by name. There we go. So now we can see them all. A bunch of different sizes for sort of uh, how much uh, snow you might want. So uh, to use one of these overlays on my picture, I need to first open it up in the Photoshop Elements Editor. And lots of ways to do that. I can do File Open or click the Open button over here, or I can simply just drag and drop that JPEG file onto the Photoshop Elements Editor window, and it'll open it up. Down here in my photo bin, uh, I've got my two open files now. If the photo bin is not showing, um, just come down here in the bottom left corner. Uh, click this icon called Photo Bin, and that'll open up your photo bin. Now, with the photo bin open, I'll click back over to uh, my photo, and then I'll drag and drop this Florabella snow overlay right on top of my other photo. Now, of course, that doesn't look good at all. It's a bunch of black with some white spots. Uh, that's not at all what I want, of course. Uh, let me close my photo bin, just get that out of the way. But we're going to fix that in just a second. So first thing is to get it sized properly. So this is actually a little too small uh, for my photo. I'm going to use the Move tool over here on the left. Uh, this first tool in the Select section is our Move tool. Click on the Move tool. And this uh, layer that I just dragged and dropped, the snowflake layer, is selected. Just put your mouse over the corner and drag the corner up so that we've got it uh, covering the left. Drag the bottom corner down to the right so we've got that covering the right. And then once you've got it sized or and, and or moved properly, click this green check mark to commit those changes. Now over in our Layers panel over here on the right, we need to change what's called the Blending Mode. Now if your Layers panel is not showing, that's because this little icon down here in the bottom isn't clicked. Uh, you may be seeing this with no Layers panel on the right. So just come down here and click the Layers icon and your Layers panel will show up. If you're not familiar with Layers, just go do a quick Google search for Photoshop Elements Layers Explained, and there's all kinds of tutorials out there that'll help you become a little more familiar with Layers. But it's a really powerful feature of Photoshop Elements that lets you do fun things like overlays. We've got our layer of the snowflake. Um, it's completely obscuring the layer underneath, which is the photo I took. This pull down right here, at the top of the Layers panel is how we change what's called a blending mode. Now there's lots of different blending modes here. I'm not going to go through all of them and explain them, but for an overlay like this where we just want to kind of hide the black, we would use the screen blending mode. So go ahead and pick screen 
and that is going to go ahead and take all of the black areas of that layer and basically make them invisible. So it looks like it's now snowing on top of this picture that I took. Uh, if I double click the magnifying glass, we can zoom all the way in and you can see kind of the snowflakes. Uh, double click the hand and we'll zoom back out uh, so we can see our whole photo. Now I can do things like change sort of the amount it's snowing by changing the opacity. That's this control right here. Change the opacity of that layer. If I change it uh, down to like maybe 50%, you can see it doesn't look like it's snowing quite so strongly. Or back up to 100% makes it look like it's snowing a little bit more. So that's one uh, overlay, which creates kind of an interesting effect, uh, how to add snow on top of your photo. I've actually got another overlay, which is kind of interesting as well. Uh, again, found this one on the internet. I'm just going to drag and drop it right on top. Again, let me open my photo bin. So you can see now I've actually got three files open. Again, I want to click back on my file where we've added a layer for snow and then drag and drop this, lay this image on top. It's going to create a new layer over here on our right. And I'm going to use that as an overlay. So let me hide my photo bin again. There we go. Now, again, this wasn't size big enough for me. So I'm going to use my move tool. I'm going to just make some adjustments to make it a little bit bigger. Um, to kind of fit my image, maybe something like that. Again, click the green check mark after you adjust the size of any layer. Uh, you need to commit it, so click this green check mark to commit it. Uh, same as we did before for our snowflake layer, we want to change the blending mode to screen. And now we've got some of these sort of crystal ball embellishments uh, on our photo. That's kind of an interesting look as well. I can still use my move tool and move them around. Uh, maybe to, to surround uh, the subject of my photo a little bit better. And as you can see, it's uh, still got some extra stuff on the sides here that I don't really want. Well, that's where something like the crop tool uh, is useful. So I'll just come over here on the left in the modify group, uh, select my crop tool and just drag over my image and I can start to crop it down to what I want. So I'll move this rectangle exactly where I want it to get the part of my image that I want and get rid of all that stuff that I don't want. And maybe something like that. Again, the green check mark is how we commit our changes. And there we go. We've got uh, our original photo. We've got some snow on top of it as an overlay. And then we've got kind of these uh, crystal ornament balls on top of that. Uh, one of the beauties of layers is I can play around with things. If I actually now don't want the snow, I can just come up here, this little eyeball on the layer. If I click on the eyeball, it will hide that layer. So as simple as that, I can get rid of the snow, even though I put the snow on there earlier. And now I've just got these um, sort of uh, crystal ornament things hanging down to frame the subject of my photo. Now, you may not uh, find, uh, let me do a couple undos. I'm going to hide that. I'm going to undo, undo back to my original image, hide both of these layers now so we don't see either the snow or those uh, crystal ball ornaments because we actually have a bunch of graphics built into Photoshop Elements that you can use as overlays. Uh, down here in the bottom right is uh, a graphics panel. If I switch to the graphics panel uh, up top here, there's lots of different graphics. I can control how I, how I want to find the graphics I'm looking for. Uh, for things like overlays, select by type and then select things like backgrounds. And there's a whole bunch of backgrounds here that you can use uh, to embellish your photos, either as overlays or just other graphic embellishments. Uh, I'm going to pick this one, simply drag and drop it onto your photo and switch back to my layers panel. Now, since it's a background, it actually put it at the very bottom. Um, that's not what we want. We want it up one layer. So just drag and drop it up above your photo. And this particular uh, background it isn't black. It's got white instead. Now, the, probably the easiest way to uh, make my photo show through with this overlay background is to simply grab my um, selection tool. I want to use my magic wand tool. So right here in the selection area, the bottom right is our selection tools. If the magic wand is not showing, uh, come down here to the bottom, show your tool options. And the four different selection tools, maybe quick selection is showing. Just go ahead and click this one, this magic wand selection. With a uh, image like this, where it's, it's pretty clear what you want to select, you can turn the tolerance way down uh, for this built-in one, maybe something like 15 or even lower. And then just make sure this contiguous uh, checkbox is not checked. 
and just click. That's going to go ahead and do a magic selection of all of this white area. And then I just hit my delete key. Now, these backgrounds that we include, we create smart layers. So uh, before I can delete, I have to simplify the smart layer. Go ahead and click OK and then hit delete again. And now you can see we've deleted all of that white area of this particular layer, which means my uh, photo that's underneath that layer can show through. Um, to get rid of the marching ants, just go select, deselect, and that's gonna get rid of the marching ants. And now we've got a nicely framed photo inside an overlay that was actually included in Photoshop Elements inside the graphics library of the product. So Sherlin, hope that helps give a uh, basic grounding of how to do some work with overlays, whether it be some of the overlays that are included in the product in the background section uh, or overlays that you can find on the internet. It's a really fantastic technique to sort of embellish a, a great photo and make it look even more interesting. Take care, and I hope you enjoy using Adobe Photoshop Elements.